Hello, my love. Good morning to you. I hope that this finds you awake in all senses of the word. I hope that you are looking forward to something today or tomorrow or in the near future. I hope also that you have time to reminisce about something that was enjoyable, an experience, perhaps with someone you love, perhaps with a friend, perhaps with a friend you love. Good morning to you. I hope you are well. I am thinking about you as always. I was thinking about also judgments and, and my judgments of other people and how important I found it to focus on things that people do right. When, when I was disappointed in life with someone, with their actions or their behavior, it's very easy to focus on that one thing about them and to let that snowball in one's mind and grow and become our perception of that person, or at least most certainly in that moment, our perception of that person. And it, that focus on the negativity I found could actually cloud my perception of the person. They were not simply the error that they had made or what I perceived to be the error that they made or the transgression that I had thought occurred. So I found before even deciding to critique someone, to criticize them. It was so helpful to focus on what they do right, to focus on the good in their nature about them, what they do, their kindness, their generosity, their conviviality, their humor, whatever it may be, and to use that to temper sort of the criticism that may have been lingering in my mind or may have been triggered. It makes me think it's so funny. This is a, a, a bit of a tangent, but so often the criticism I found in others was riling because it signaled a criticism I had of myself, which was very telling. It took me a while to realize that, but when I was upset with others, it was because they reminded me of the thing I was upset with with myself. But that is another, another topic. So, I would just caution, I would recommend that you temper possibly your critique or judgment of others by thinking about what it is they do that is good. And use that as a bit of ballast against the negativity. And so, which is different than a critique sandwich, mind you. I'm not talking about saying good things and then the bad thing and then the good thing. I'm talking just about our mere judgments of others and how we let something simple cloud our view of what is a complicated, complicated or multi-layered person. So, I will leave it at that. Again, I recommend FKA Twigs. What I also liked so much about her music is that it just was different. There was... It did not sound like the other music that was out there. It was unique. So again, I recommend her, her catalog um, en masse. And... A Prayer for Own Meaning by John Irving. And with that, I will bid you adieu.